Hi friends, it's me. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Maria, uh, as is evidenced by my YouTube channel name. Um, I'm coming to you from a very empty, well, not very empty, but soon to be very empty room because I'm moving. But I wanted to film at least one last video in my old place. Apologies if it's echoey. If you're expecting high quality videos, uh, I'll recommend C. Monet. Um, so there's some kind of tag going around that is 17 ink questions. I don't remember where this came from. I heard about it in Simone's uh, Discord and I'll put a link somewhere to the thing. But let's keep going because there's 17 questions here. So first memorable ink. Jacques Herbon, I think it's 1670, Emerald of Chavour. Uh, obviously, it's the ink that made me want to buy fountain pens. So it predates the fountain pens even. Uh, number two, what's my favorite ink bottle? Uh, I have a couple. In some ways, it's the uh, Ackerman bottles because like those are so dope and they remind me of Ramune. Uh, but also, I'll say Iroshizuku. However, there's honestly so many great ink bottles that this was kind of a tough one. So I'm going to say those two. Uh, three, ink I love but don't write with. So I actually limited this to ones that I own. And my answers were, hmm, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Uh, Colorverse from Cali. Uh, Sailor Ink Studio 234, um, Ferris Wheel Press, Purple Jade Rabbit, and Dominant Industry Sunset. You kind of get the gist. I don't actually own Sunset, but you get the gist. These really beautiful, way too light to be practical inks that I really want to work for me, but that they don't write super great for me, but they're so pretty. So I do use them sometimes. Um, and then number four, how do you find out about new inks? Obviously, Manda. Hello, Ink Splat, Manda B. She's how I find out about new inks. Also, I sometimes just go to like jet pins or um, goulet pins or other websites and just look at what's new. Um, and then again, Simone's Discord. Amanda B's Discord, another couple places. Um, number five, what do I use my ink for other than writing? Swatching? Splats? I just write with ink, you know? Like, I mean, to me, swatching and splatting is fun. I mean, could I say YouTube content? But that feels like a cheap answer. Uh, and also, I hate the idea of like content. Anyway, we're getting over it. We're moving on. So number six is, what is an ink worth hoarding? And I'm gonna stop a moment and say, hoarding is a serious disorder. I'd like to avoid using that term. Also, I don't know if this is about something that I find too precious to use and I'm hoarding it that way, as in like a dragon hoarding gold, right? The dragons don't use gold, they just, you know, have it and I don't know, Scrooge McDuck it. Um, or is it about something I don't want to run out of? In other words, I'm stockpiling. So I don't know which they, what is intended by this question. Um, for the former, anything that I find too precious to use, nothing. I ink is meant to be used um, for me. And for the latter, uh, ink that I like stocked up on, there's one Diamine Earl Grey, because I thought it wasn't going to be made anymore and I really liked it. And now I have two 80 ml bottles. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I, like, there's so many amazing inks. I have a hard time, even of all of them, like, if I run out, well, I could buy another one. And if I can't buy another one, there's probably something just as good or almost just as good or different and cool. Um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Seven. How do I choose which ink goes into a pen? Do they have to match? 
do you always use the same ink in a particular pen? So as my whimsy takes me, um, Dorothy Sayers fans, right? Yeah. Anyway, they don't need to match, but they cannot clash. So like Tsutsuji in my Lamy 2000, blessed. Oh, how y'all, these glasses are smudged. Tsutsuji in my Lamy 2000 is awesome and I love it. And, but like, what's an example of something I wouldn't want? Ugh, like a green ink and a red pen. I wouldn't like that. Okay. I think these are less smudged. And then um, I don't have any like one true pairing pens and inks for me. There's some that I'm like, mm, this usually happens. Like Emerald of Shavor in my um, Twisby VAC 700R iris uh, with a broad nib because that's just like obscene. It's so good. Uh, <clears throat> it's juicy. And like I write with it, I'm like, oh, this ink. Anyway, so eight, do you use samples? Is the goal to find a bottle to buy or is it just to get a smaller amount of ink? Um, yes, I use samples. It When I started out, it used to be like I had this mindset of I had to have certain colors of ink that I can some sort of fall into still um, because I like want a rainbow of ink. Really, that's the thing. And now I have a rainbow, so I guess I'm done with that. But it used to be to find bottles. But now more than anything else, it's to have a little bit of a lot. And quite frankly, what is this on my, oh no. Um, I find myself like, kind of over samples because like I was acquiring too many and then not using them. Um, that's unrelated to this question, sorry. Number nine, what popular ink is not for me? Underhyped ink that more people should try. Well, a popular ink that's not for me, let's see, anything green, brown, or yellow? Maybe also you could throw orange in there. One that came to mind when I was writing this was 50 States, Texas, because I know how much Chris Sainz likes it and how much Manda likes it. And I'm sure it's a great brown, but y'all, it's brown. Not for me. Um, and then I don't know what is popular or hyped. So I don't know what's, um, you know, overhyped, except what I came up with is, oh, Anything by Ferris Wheel Press. And then underhyped, again, since I don't really know what's popular, I, it's hard for me to answer this. I thought maybe Wearing Ghoul, though they've get kind of like, I see them a little bit more. And then, uh, or Pannonia. And then the other one I thought it was Pure Pens because I had never heard of them until I saw somebody who spilled an entire bottle of red ink on a, the fountain pen subreddit like years ago is Cadwallader. I may be butchering that, but it's a it's a red color, and it it was I was like, what is this ink? And they're uh, based in Cardiff, in um, Wales, and I I wanted to go there. I did get a couple bottles of their ink, and they're it's really nice and blah blah blah. I ramble. <laughs> Shock. Ten. <laughs> what do I do with unused ink when I'm cleaning a pen? Well, usually I write pins dry because I don't usually fill them all the way because I want to change ink. Um, otherwise, if it's just a little ink, I safely dispose of it. Uh, if it's a lot, I might put it in a vial. Like um, in February 2023, 20, I did this like, I know, I'm going to use one ink and put it in all the nib sizes in the month and... Uh, take, wait, no, I did four inks <laughs> and I put it in all the nib sizes. And so that I kind of had a lot of ink left over. And so some of it I did put into either a vial or back into the bottle. <gasps> oh my God. Um, oh, I said a, a thing. Apologies if that offends you. That's not really an apology though, is it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all, there's so much stress in my life right now. Anyway, number 11, most unique ink. 
Um, I could go off on a diatribe about how the word unique means one of a kind. So you can't be most one of a kind. You can't be very one of a kind. You can't be truly, yeah, you can't be truly one of a kind. But let's be real, the word is used as unusual. So my most one of a kind ink though is the Kiwi inks bottle that I customized. So realistically, does someone else probably have that exact same ink? Yes, but in my mind, I told them, hey, I want this please. And I got it. Um, other than that, who knows? Who knows? Oh, the little thing of Tsutsuji that I added shimmer stuff to, like, oh, cause I concocted that myself. Um, number 12. How do I catalog, swatch, track, storings? <laughs> I wrote catalog. <laughs> Just like that. So, <laughs> swatch them, coloring cards, and also I have a notebook of the original Tomoe River paper. I use that. Track them. I have a notebook that's a Cosmo Air light that I write down. Um, I've been bad at this, but I wrote, it's like an ink th thing. And every time I ink a pen with that ink, I'm supposed to like write down the pen and do a writing sample, but I've been horribly lazy. Surprise there too. Um, and how do I store it? I have a filing cabinet and I use the top drawer of that to store most of my bottles of ink. And then I had a shelf. I mean, how do I store it right now? It's in boxes in like, I mean, sure in the ink itself is in its box, but like all my stuff is in a world of chaos. So, but theoretically on a shelf, but in the original packaging, assuming I have it. And the vials, I have like a couple vial holders that I got as like test tube sample holders from a horrible large retailer. What is my favorite ink color or family? Blue. Purple? Teal? Does teal count as its own family? I kind of want to say blue, like blurple teal. Blurple teal. Purple I like a lot, but it almost is like I like it so much because Manda's love for it is infectious. But I do like it because it's like blue, but kind of like with a little bit of pink sass in it. Anyway, number... <laughs> 14. So what is an ink related accessory that I can't live without? Well, a syringe, ink syringe, obviously. And I also am including an ink -a pet for um, sample vials. I love that thing so much. I have the little penguin. Number 15. Have you mixed inks or shimmer? And then I I forgot I wrote this. <laughs> it says, yes, Shimmer Tsutsuji. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is 16? This is feels tangential, but also cool. Favorite filling system for a pin? Converter, because I like not filling my pin too much. And I'm actually thinking that with some of my piston pins, they don't write as well if you don't fill them fully. Unfortunate. Let's see. Number 17, um, by the way, this is the paper. It says, number 17, what is the ink I'm excited about right now? And I said, Sailor 50 States, California, because it's what I'm writing with. <laughs> and that feels very true. Although it is like a favorite. Since I got it, I'm like, this ink is so good. I love the color. It's California. I... I'm kind of Californian. I'm not, but I've lived here a real long time. And the I, I'll give you a bonus one because it, anyway, it's the Colorverse Blue Dragon inks. I'm excited about those. I don't have them, but I'm excited about them. It was for a hot minute going to be the Dark Lilac, <laughs> but that is a topic for another channel or another day. I feel like I should probably not post this video, but it's me, I'm going to. So uh, I hope y'all are doing well. 
I've got another video coming out. I mean, I haven't made it yet, but I know I'm going to make it and I'm hoping to do it soon. <laughs> it's going to come out in uh, the month after now, March. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one with the letters in it so i hope whenever you're watching this you are having a wonderful day take care of yourselves bye